So every time I mention my Grim Cryos Pro that it costs like 800 euros here in Europe, everybody's like, what? How much? So why I bought this stuff? So the first thing uh, that I can say is that it's really liked. It weighs only 1250 grams. It's completely uh, carbon, so it's very light. And this wall piece, also with my GoPro camera, probably weighs around the same weight as the Shoei Hornet, maybe. So that's pretty crazy. The other thing that I love is here this visor. It's transitions visor they say and it's basically monochromatic it darkens based on the light if you have a lot of light it darkens if you are in the shadows it clears up and you have like clear uh, visor so that's amazing here also is huge here also is huge vent that you can use you can open it and close it and this uh, shield doesn't come like with any wind buffeting not many uh, times I had an issue that uh, it was like bobbing my face around too much especially it only does especially around above 140 and such so, but yeah that's that's to be expected So here inside the padding is absolutely comfortable, very great, I love it. And inside we have uh, th that green stuff and not sure if you can see it. And that's their material that is good and for uh, anti-concussion protection. So it's a lot better when you fall on the head and most of the helmets only have the the outer shell and then padding but you also have this green stuff that protects your head against the concussion so those are like best features on this the ventilation the lightweight protection comfortable wind noise is okay and the also i love this magnetic magnetic strap so as you can see it just clips in you don't even have to uh somehow mess with it and get it on like most of the helmets it just clips in and it it stays there it's it's very good so that's why i got the clean Cross pro i also like the design of the helmet it's pretty cool so this is the old version and it also works with the normal goggles for the motocross so it's a really good helmet I have to say when you check out all of the other helmets like Arai, Shoei and as well as the LS2, Scorpion, Aero most of these helmets have something missing that this helmet has so that's my uh, 860 euro spent and I have to say I'm satisfied with this. It's a really good helmet. Stay safe.